so I was planning on making this video in maybe like a week or two, but I kind of feel like I need to do this right now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to Lima Bean Living. This is my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. And I just, I'm feeling so discouraged. I like just got the results back from my sizing ultrasound for Jack. And at 36 weeks, he's measuring in the greater than 97th percentile, which means that like if you had a hundred babies um, in a room, he'd be bigger than at least 97% or 97 of them. Um, and at my 20 week like ultrasound, he was in the 67th percentile, pretty much like an average size baby. And I'm feeling just very discouraged because, you know, he's measuring really big. I know that things can be off or whatever, but I mean, even in the ultrasound, he looks like he's got some chunky cheeks and like all of that. And normally, if this was my first pregnancy, I probably would have like written it off because all of the babies in my family, like my siblings and I were all probably an average of nine pounds. Some of us, like my youngest brother was like 10 pounds. Like we're all just like big babies, just in general, just genetically. But it's not my first pregnancy and Aubrey was really big and I've shared my struggles with her and how like my issues with her pregnancy and more delivery and postpartum made me nervous about being pregnant again. And because I passed my gestational diabetes test a long time ago, I was feeling more hopeful that I wouldn't have such a large baby. Aubrey was born when I was 38 weeks pregnant and she was already over 10 pounds. And so with Jack measuring at like seven pounds, 14 ounces, almost a week ago, you know, it looks like he's pretty much on like the same path as her. And with Aubrey, I was having a really hard time trying to push her out. She was just really big. And there were other probably reasons why I had a C-section with her, but I'm just really hoping for a V back and seeing those numbers today definitely are making me feel discouraged. I know that, you know, with God, all things are possible. I know that this could be just like the devil trying to instill doubt in me and all of that. So I just really could use some prayers. I'm going to be seeing my doctor tomorrow and then once a week from here on out, he may want to induce me before this year is up. So I really just don't know what's going to happen and I'm just, I'd really love to have a VBAC and have an easier recovery and the hope of, you know, having more children in the future. A VBAC is obviously a better option for me. So I'd appreciate any and all prayers regarding that. As far as our house goes, uh, we've been kind of checking in on it. We have gotten electrical, but like we've noticed some like issues in the past, like when we've gone. So like there was supposed to be a hose bib in like a certain part of the house and it was actually missing or it was in the wrong location. And so, you know, we've had to like talk with the people like saying like, are you even following our blueprints? Like are you know, like what we sign paperwork for. So it's a little like it's, it's kind of a stressful time because it's kind of like I'd like to be able to focus on like my health and my baby's health and all of that and there's this like worry that we're making this big purchase of a house and are they even going to do it the way that we asked them to do it you know so that's you know an additional cause of stress I'm not like too worried in the sense that we're going every week to really like check out the house and stuff like that but soon I won't be able to and Juan's more of like the attention to detail when we go check out the house. I'm like, ooh, look at what's been done. But he's like looking at the fine details. So I trust that if he continues to go, you know, he'll keep an eye on if things are being done as promised. But, you know, that is, I wish it wasn't an issue in the first place. But those are just kind of like the two big updates that I, I just needed to get out and get prayers for like as soon as possible. Um, today's video, I was 
planning on posting like a little reflection on mine and Juan's wedding since it's our anniversary on the 16th. So this is going to be airing the day after our anniversary, but I'll just kind of like push things around and you guys can hopefully expect that video sometime soon unless something happens <laughs> regarding this pregnancy. But yeah, I just, I could really use some prayers that I stop feeling so discouraged and that God gives me the strength to maybe push through any like uncomfortable situations in my labor and delivery. As I shared before, when I would try to push Aubrey out, my heart would flutter. Like I've talked with the cardiologist about that, like not really to stress about it. So if I experience that again, like kind of just push through. Yeah, so just, I mean, I don't even know like the specific things to pray for other than I'd really love for a VBAC because I'd like to have more children and it's not recommended to have more than like two, maybe three C-sections. And it, it would be great to have an easier recovery as well. So just needed to get this out there for the prayers and to let you guys know what's going on. I guess the, the last thing that's coming to mind before I end this video is just I've been feeling like ultra depressed and down and emotional lately. So it's like not even helping in these situations. And as much as I know that like, you guys like care and I have family that's close and cares about me. I just feel so alone. So it means a lot that you guys watch and support and pray for me. And I guess that's it. I mean, <laughs> what else can I, I can't say or fake feelings that aren't here. But hopefully my next video will be a more positive one. Hopefully my next update video will be more positive. And whenever Jack comes here, obviously, you know, as long as him and I are both healthy, that is more important than me having a VBAC. But healthy is inclusive of mental health too and I know that it's been a struggle so until next time thank you for watching and know that you are loved and made for greatness to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.